Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surabhi Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 16th of April. India's COVID-19 tally crosses 12,000 mark, death mounts to 414. Pakistan violating ceasefire to infiltrate jihadi into India, says activist. And government workers demand wage security amid Bangladesh lockdown. And now for all the details. India's COVID-19 tally crossed 12,000 mark on Thursday with at least 414 deaths reported so far. India is currently in the second phase of a nationwide lockdown until May 3rd to stem the spread of the virus. The total number of coronavirus cases in India rose up to 12,380 as of Thursday afternoon as 941 fresh cases were reported in the past 24 hours. The coronavirus death toll jumped to 414, with 37 deaths reported in the past one day across the country. India is currently in the second phase of a nationwide lockdown until May 3rd to contain the rising number of coronavirus cases. All the districts of the country have been classified into hotspot, non-hotspot and green zone districts. Health Ministry officials said efforts are underway with the focus to control the spread of the virus from the affected areas to newer regions. Or total positive cases 12,380 हैं. अब तक total reported deaths 414 हैं, जिसमें से 37 deaths have been reported in last one day. मैं आप लोगों की दृष्टि में लाना चाहूँगा, हमारी इस लड़ाई में, हमारे इस efforts में अभी तक भी field level पर किए हुए action के तहत Meanwhile, leader of India's opposition Congress party Rahul Gandhi in a virtual press conference on Thursday called for unity to fight the coronavirus. He said a lockdown is not the solution and asked the centre to aggressively go for testing and use it strategically. Moving on, Amjad Ayub Mirza, a political activist from Pakistan administered Kashmir, has blamed that Pakistan has been regularly violating ceasefire along the border with India to infiltrate terrorists into Kashmir Valley amid COVID-19 outbreak. A political activist from Pakistan administered Kashmir, Amjad Ayub Mirza, has alleged that Pakistan has been regularly violating ceasefire at the line of control with India to infiltrate terrorists into the Kashmir Valley amid COVID-19 spread. Three civilians were killed and several others injured in shelling by Pakistani troops along the border in India's Jammu and Kashmir over the past four days. Mirza said that like always, the ceasefire violations were initiated by Pakistan, which created problems for locals, even in the areas that do not even come in the jurisdiction of the ceasefire line. Pakistan se jo infiltrator hai, jihadi, terrorist jo hai, inko border par karana hota hai. तो ये उस गोलाबारी के जो है अंडरकवर ये उनको बॉर्डर क्रॉस कराते हैं अब इन्होंने ये फैसला किया है कि कोरोना के जो पेशेंट्स हैं जहादी उनको बॉर्डर क्रॉस कराएं ताकि ये जम्मू से होते हुए और कश्मीर में जाके जो है ये वहां पे कोरोना वायरस की वबा को फैलाएं the activist said the Pakistan army should be ashamed of itself that even at this time when the whole world is standing united to fight against the deadly contagion, the military establishment continues to commit atrocities. More than a thousand Pakistani students stranded in China's Hubei province want to return to their home country despite rising coronavirus cases. The grueling lockdown which has been lifted in Hubei has taken a deep psychological toll on them. For more than a thousand Pakistani students stranded in the Chinese province of Hubei, a grueling lockdown lifted this week. But they must now decide whether to try to return to their home country 
where cases of coronavirus are rising rapidly. Mir Hassan, a PhD computer architecture student in Wuhan, is desperate to get home to his mother after his father died in February from a heart ailment. The last time they spoke, his father had pleaded with him to come home. Hassan said that the lockdown had taken a deep psychological toll, which combined with his father's death, plunged him into distress. Uh, when every day I call with my mother, she's crying and that time I feel stressed and depressed that I want to go just go to home because uh, my mother wants to me he, she wants to see me that uh, I can come back in Pakistan cases are increasing standing at more than 6800 on Thursday with over 120 deaths as the country has implemented lockdown measures despite the challenges he faced Hassan said that he hoped that Pakistanis would learn from Wuhan's lockdown and stay home and maintain social distancing. Afghanistan's health minister Firozuddin Firoz has said, carelessness and failing to abide by recommended health practices will make each home vulnerable to the COVID-19 disease. Firoz said the true numbers of the coronavirus infections in the country are not known because not all patients with COVID-19 symptoms go to health centers. Afghan Health Minister Firozuddin Firoz has said carelessness and failing to abide by recommended health practices will make each citizen's home vulnerable to the COVID-19 disease. Firoz on Wednesday asserted the true number of coronavirus infections in the country are not known because not all patients with the COVID-19 symptoms go to health centers. The remarks came after COVID-19 sample testing center halted its operation in Kandahar province on Tuesday due to lack of kits and other personal protection equipment. The Kandahar Health Department has called on the Afghan Ministry of Public Health to take action and resolve the issue. Kandahar, as of Tuesday, reported at least 100 positive cases of COVID-19. So far, 784 positive coronavirus cases have been reported in Afghanistan, with most of them in Herat and Kabul provinces. 26 people have died due to deadly virus and 43 have recovered. Bangladesh on Thursday recorded the highest deaths and new cases from COVID-19 in a single day. The country reported 10 new deaths and 341 new infections. The recovery number also remained static in the past 24 hours. Bangladesh on Thursday confirmed 341 new cases and 10 more deaths from COVID-19, bringing the total number of the cases to 1,572 and fatalities to 60. This is by far Bangladesh's biggest jump in debt over a day since the country announced the first fatality of COVID-19 patients on March 18. Directorate General of Health Services confirmed the toll through an online press conference on Thursday. According to the official, a total number of 2,019 samples were tested in the last 24 hours across the country, which is 16% higher than Wednesday. In the last 24 hours, 37 people across the country have been put in isolation, the official added. The spike in COVID-19 cases came days after Bangladesh, like its other South Asian neighbours, extended the ongoing closure of all public and private offices until April 25 to contain the spread of the deadly virus in the country. More news from Bangladesh. Scores of garment workers blocked a highway on Wednesday in Bangladeshi capital, Dhaka, demanding their salaries be paid. This comes as some of the world's the largest clothing retailers have cancelled or paused orders amid the coronavirus pandemic. Hundreds of Bangladeshi garment workers blocked a highway on Wednesday, demanding their salaries be paid after some of the world's largest clothing retailers had cancelled or paused orders amid the coronavirus pandemic. Several protesting garment workers in capital Dhaka said that they have not been paid by their factories in the past few months. Bangladesh's crucial garment industry employs 4 million workers across some 4,000 factories. Garment exports accounted for $34.1 billion or 84% of the country's overall exports in the fiscal year through June 2019. 
আমাদের বিষয়টা বিবেচনা করুক এবং মনে করেন এখানে যারা কাউন্সিলর আছে তারা আমাদেরকে চাল ডাল কিছু দিচ্ছে না দি বাংলাদেশ গার্মেন্ট ম্যানুফ্যাকচারার্স এন্ড এক্সপোর্টার্স অ্যাসোসিয়েশন রিপোর্টেড দ্যাট অর্ডার্স ফর ওভার নাইন হান্ড্রেড মিলিয়ন গার্মেন্টস ওয়ার্থ টু পয়েন্ট নাইন মিলিয়ন ডলার্স হ্যাড অলরেডি বিন ক্যান্সেলড অর ওয়ার বিং হেল্ড আপ যে জায়গায় নাকি করোনা ভাইরাসের জন্য পাঁচজন একসাথে থাকা নিশ্চিত সেই জায়গায় আমরা হাজার হাজার শ্রমিক আজকে একসাথে রাস্তায় নেমে দাঁড়াইছি কেন এই দেখানোর জন্য আমাদের Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina had recently unveiled a 588 million dollar package for the country's export sector asking companies to put the money towards paying workers India's southern Kerala province has initiated the use of information technology to trace contacts of coronavirus positive people which otherwise would have been impossible to do a real time monitoring India's southern Kerala province, which was the first region to witness COVID-19 cases in the country, is now using information technology to trace contacts of coronavirus-positive people. Alapura district collector M. Anjana has said the authorities are using technology to reach out to a large number of people, which otherwise would have been impossible to do a real-time monitoring. The techies are using geotags from a little control room in the district civilian station. After tracing the contacts through route monitoring, they are making calls with interactive voice response systems to nearly 10,000 every day in Alapura alone. Uh, we are using technology here to reach out to a large number of people, uh, which otherwise would have been uh, impossible for us to do a real-time monitoring. Uh, in this case, um, the system is in such a way that we can dismantle it any time in the event of a community spread also. It can be dismantled at any time. Meanwhile authorities in the district which is known for its pristine beaches and picturesque backwaters are also looking to convert fame houseboats into isolation wards. According to officials the authorities had a discussion with houseboat owners association members who are usually busy around this time of year with tourists. They have unanimously agreed to the proposal. Scores of migrant workers who are sheltering in a sports complex in Indian capital New Delhi amid the nationwide lockdown are now practicing yoga and meditation to cope with the crisis. Authorities are also organizing magic shows to keep workers busy and entertained in this pandemic time. Hundreds of migrant workers sheltering in a sports complex in Indian capital New Delhi were seen practicing yoga and meditation on Wednesday to cope with the ongoing coronavirus lockdown. Hundreds of migrant workers fled for their homes in the hinterland when Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the lockdown last month. But many were unable to get home after train and bus services were suspended, leaving many stuck and without work in India's big cities. So the people were basically migrating to their native places. and uh, as you know that government has taken the steps to uh, uh, basically to rehabilitate them rather than for a short time as such to prevent the epidemic and damage is going around the country so they were brought here by the delhi police and then uh, almost from the 31st of march they are authorities apart from providing yoga training to the laborers sheltering at new delhi's yamuna sports complex are also organizing magic shows to keep the workers busy and entertained in this pandemic time yoga se karne se mujhe sharir mein thodi bahut jahan bhi jhar kar sharir mein dard thi wo bilkul kam ho chuki hai aur manoranjan ke liye magic hai pure hafte magic thi sunday ko chutti thi baaki din roz magic hoti thi aur khane peene mein abhi suya chai ke sath bread ya kabhi biscuit नाश्ते में कभी समोसे केले सेब संतरे मिलते हैं दोपहर में चावल दाल सब्जी मिलती है और शाम के टाइम में पूरी सब्जी मिलती है इंडिया एक्सटेंडेड इट्स नेशन वाइड लॉकडाउन ऑन ट्यूजडे अंटिल मे थर्ड टू कंटेन द स्प्रेड ऑफ द नोवल कोरोना वायरस Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com/sasianewsline. and follow us on twitter at s asia newsline that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button